So volumetric audio, instead of playing from the central point of the part, a dependent object, in this case, it would be this attachment right here. It plays not only inside of the whole part, but it also emits the audio from every surface point of the part. So if the player is inside of the part, it's going to play all around the player. But if the player leaves the part, the audio becomes more directional because it would be coming out of the part right here. And to demonstrate it, I have few sound effects right here. I don't really have anything else except, well, horror ambience and sound effects. So I'm going to just play this audio, which is also used in my horror game. So I'm just going to turn the playing property now. And just to compare it, I'm firstly going to show you how normal audio behaves. And then I'm going to turn on the volumetric audio. So right now I am standing next to the part and I'm not hearing the audio. But if I move my camera closer to the center, you can start hearing the sound. And it is emitting from the center of the part. But now how do you enable the volumetric audio? So to enable it, you need to go into the sound service and in the data tab, just scroll down to the volumetric audio property and change it from automatic to enabled. And you can immediately hear a change that happened from the sound. But to show it how directional it is, it's going to be better if I do it from the first person. Right now the audio is emitting from the surface and if I rotate my camera, you can hear that it becomes more directional. And it also becomes louder the closer I get. So right now it's going to play all around me if I go into the part. So again, to enable volumetric audio, just change it to enabled in the properties of the sound service. And something like this not only sounds better than normal audio, but it also allows you to create areas which play a certain sound, which previously you have to do a workaround, basically detecting if a player stepped into a certain zone, you would play an audio from, let's say, the sound service. But now you don't have to do it anymore with the volumetric audio. And I couldn't really find anything about it, except the dev forum page that's not even loading, which was supposed to be a public announcement okay it loaded this time but not the images so this is the public release from the beta announcement which was on march 2022 so two years ago and i didn't even know about this feature until like yesterday but i am not even surprised because i saw that a lot of people didn't even know about it either and the only thing that i could find about volumetric audio in the docs was this paragraph inside of the sound guides but it would be a really nice feature to show up because the volumetric audio is a much better way of actually playing the audio than the normal sound effects if you wanted to play the sounds in a certain area zone or whatever also i will be leaving a link to this documentation in the description too it basically just shows the guide of making a sound volumetric and there is also a little preview that okay it's very loud there is also a little preview that i can play to show it off really quickly So yeah, that's this. And there is also a neat thing that you can do with changing the role of minimum distance and role of maximum distance, which also would be for the normal audio, not the volumetric one, where this graph also shows you how the audio behaves from around the bass part. And the thing with setting the role of minimum distance to zero, that if you don't want this sound to be emitting from the part, so it's only going to play in a certain zone, I'm just going to move this box right here and just play a different sound effect, like this horror ambience. If you change the role of minimum distance to zero, the role of maximum distance to zero. It's only going to play inside of the part. So right now my camera is outside of the part and the audio isn't playing, but if I move it in, it is only going to be playing inside of this part. And yeah, that's basically going to be everything for today. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. You can also become a channel member if you want to support me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and see ya.